buckle in, get some popcorn because it's, it's gonna be good. Just, I like the full yeah, thing. Yeah, I did the whole thing. How, how early did you go up this morning? Because I feel like everyone's been up extremely early to be Well, here. this takes a lot of work. So I had to wake up at like 6.30 this morning so I could be here by 8.30. I'm kind of upset that you've got such like white eyes and <laughs> kind of like no bags and I'm just sitting here being like, mm, my eye no, you look midnight. great. You look mm, great. Mm, it's, I think it's the Funhouse show. I think it's just the Funhouse show and the media pass hide all kind of sort of... Anything else? <laughs> Gives the illusion of awakeness. Like no, I mean, I got makeup on, so I'm t- I'm cheating a little bit. And how are you, and how are you finding Arctic so far? Or have you literally been thrown into interviews all day? Um, this is all I've done so far today. Um, yesterday I did the first night screening of day five, which was incredible. And then I also came by the convention center during the. Um, uh, early registration and just kind of sign autographs for a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what, do you have, do, um, I say it's nice. Have you ever had a weird thing be given to you from a fan? Has a fan ever given you like a very odd gift? <laughs> I mean, we get weird things all the time, but everyone always has their own reason for it, so it's um, never too concerning. No, you don't think no. anyone's just trying to get like give you something very strange for a reaction or anything like that? I, I definitely, they're doing that definitely. for a reaction. Like we've gotten, I've gotten uh, fake arms wow. because nice. of my character. Um, uh, I've been given pure as ashes, which is like also weird. <laughs> it could be anything. It could yeah. be a cat, a dog. Not really sure. I don't know. What do you do with them? Do you, is there a room? Is there like a shrine? Um, I usually don't keep them because it's. I just don't know what to do with it. Um, so either I'll, I'll say no, you could keep it, or Aww. I'll give it to the animation team if they if it's something that they think is cool or they want. Yeah. I just have a vision of the animation team walking around with an arm now, just slapping each other in the face. I constantly. think we probably have one somewhere in our studio. Nice. Yeah. So what's kind of coming up this year for you? Because you, you're always an extremely busy person. So yes. I just want to make sure that I've got, sorry, oh, apart good. from stuffing all over your feet, <laughs> that I've got the right idea of uh, what's coming up in your timeline. Right. Um, it's hard to do. We're doing a lot more conventions now. Um, me and the other Ruby girls, we're going to a lot of conventions, doing a lot of appearances like that. Um, just because all of a sudden all these conventions are like, wait, Ruby's huge. Let's get the girls down, which has been really cool. Um, getting to go all over the world and meet so many fans everywhere. Um, and for me personally, I'm just working on the third season of my show, Always Open, which just had its season finale a couple weeks ago. And that's always been... Which I'm a huge fan of. Thank like, you. That's, that's my... Like, that's your thing? Give me pleasure. Oh, Especially when it's just... It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just uh, I love, like, the... I feel like sometimes, though, like, I'm intruding in this very little bizarre... Like, I feel like I'm sort of sit, sat in a booth behind you being like, oh, this is interesting. Like, yeah, there's, there's two reactions. Some people say, like, I feel like I shouldn't be listening to this. Right, exactly. Um, or other people are just like, Man, this is like being at like at a restaurant with my friends. Like right. this is exactly how we talk. Um, which both sides of it are really funny to me. So that's all I could hope for. Have you ever had to cut anything out of that series because it was too out too there, much? Too much. Um, we haven't had to cut much from it. I think like in terms of the raunchy stuff, people are usually okay with. It's just if they mention someone or a, a story from their past that they're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have told that publicly. That's when we cut. We cut that's it. Fair. Yeah. That's not, that's kind. I feel yeah. that's kind. You don't want to, you know, share what you mean. Like exactly. Exactly. You don't, because we have a platform to talk about these things and these people, and, and if we're talking about someone and they don't have that same kind of platform, it's a little unfair to them. Right. 100%. Yeah. Do you have any guests that you would like for the next series of that? Oh, uh, Ryan. Absolutely. Um, there's so many people I'd like on the show. I'd love to have Grace Helbig at one point, Mamrie Hart. We had Hannah a couple um, episodes ago, so we want to get that Holy Trinity in there at some point. Um, I'd love to have Jeremy on at some point. Really? He talked about wanting to be on the show, Jeremy from Achievement Hunter. He, uh, I think he's like one of the funniest people in the company, so I'd love to have him on at some point. I think he'd be great on that show. And just like, I don't know, any, honestly, anyone who we could have a, a good conversation with is like someone who I would love That's to have. Fair. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly wondering whether the Sugar Point 7 will get an extended invite, because I feel like there's a lot of therapy that needs to happen there, and yeah. you, this, this may be the right vessel for that therapy to, to take place. Um, I would love to have Sugar Pine 7 on. Um, I'll mention it to them later. Please do. I actually um, saw them last night. We had dinner together and a few drinks, and I, I got to know them because I've like I met Stephen before just in passing, but I actually got to like meet those guys, and they are just a hoot. Um, they are an interesting <laughs> cast of characters, and I would I would absolutely love to have them on that show for sure. So you've just designed some new clothes. Mm-hmm. I don't have them. I wasn't lucky enough to get one. So. Well, if you go downstairs to the store, or go to store.reach.com, they're all there. What, what's, your your... Favorite, what's your favorite design? Oh, God. 
they're all like my, it's like choosing, choosing a child. Yeah. Yeah. They're all my children. Um, I think it's a toss up. I love the um, It's a Hoot Boyfriend tee that I did just because I love the blank that it's on. It's such like a soft material and the design's really cool. Um, and then I also love the X rated shirt, which is like the um, rib cage with the flowers on it. I think it's like really badass. Yeah. What, where did you kind of get your inspiration for your, your clothing line? Where did it kind of come from? Um, I have a very particular style. Um, I like a lot of very like boho y, um, almost like festival y kind of clothes. I like a lot of cool prints and graphic design and stuff like that. So being able to have that emulated on a, like a clothing line for myself has been really awesome. It's also just secretly me designing clothes that I want to wear for free. So <laughs> I could just like basically get my entire wardrobe from the store. <laughs> yeah. I've made this really cool print. It's just a test run though. I'm just going to print one. Don't yeah, worry, guys. Just, if you want to just make this and give it to me for free, that'd be cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Are you the brains behind all of the all of the clothing for all of the brands? Or, or is it just... Oh, no. Um, I don't do the, the store stuff. Um, it's just my own line that I've had and put in. Nice. Yeah. And so where what, where kind of you going go next year with your line? Are you going to do some more stuff this year or next year? Or? Yeah, we're actually, um, we just had a meeting a couple weeks ago about a fall line that we're going to do. Nice. And I think we're going to try to do some stuff that the store has never done before, like bomber jackets or like camo jackets. Um, maybe, you know, a dress or a scarf, like uh, different pieces of clothing, not just t-shirts. Roosty dress? I, I can see that. Yeah. That'd be pretty rad. I think it'd be cool too. I think it's just finding the appropriate thing for fall. Is fall. Yeah, I like that. When I when I landed last night, I came into the airport very late, and there were signs for most of these cast members. I think people were just camping out, kind of hoping that there might be some late night, maybe cow truck going to turn up or, or someone from uh, LA. Yeah. Do you ever get hounded by people? Do you find it difficult to go out? Because obviously, because you're in Austin, you're extremely like out there all the time uh, on the internet, and everyone knows who you are. Do you find it difficult to go out and just kind of have like a quiet beer or, or like at RTX no just in general in, in Austin in general oh. b- before or after RTX like um, in Austin in general no not at all um, I think we're very lucky in the sense that we are that perfect level of famous where during RTX and during conventions and when there's people in town um, yeah it's we are treated like celebrities because that is like the very focused energy and, and focused fan base during that weekend but when we go out in public, it's you know maybe once a week or so, maybe twice a week we'll get recognized somewhere. But it's never a problem. It's just someone like, hey, I'm a fan. Like, it's nice to meet you. It's never like too intrusive or too rude. I mean, our fans are the greatest people in the world, and they're so kind and courteous and respectful of our space. So, I'm I'm liking where we're at right now because yeah. I feel like I wouldn't enjoy life if we were actually like. You know, Mainstream real celebrity, huge. yeah. Oh my god, that'd be, I think it'd be terrifying for anyone. Yeah, really that would be. I don't think that would be pleasant. You go to a lot of conventions, like as you said earlier, you go to a lot of conventions and you, you go to a lot of concerts. Do you have any kind of like top tips for surviving conventions and concerts? Like, what's the one thing you have to do to kind of just to just get through the weekend? Um, it's hard for because I'm on such a different side of it, so I don't really attend conventions anymore. I'm usually just like a guest at those. But I think there's a few things you could do: drink water, because people forget to do that all the time. And I think that you don't realize how much water is important for your body just to be like sane <laughs> and comfortable. Um, don't forget to eat because people do that all the time. And then please shower <laughs> and put on deodorant because so many people forget or don't do that. And when you have a concentrated <laughs> amount of people, it's just like, it's that much worse. Yeah, a lot a, a lot of tweets this year I've seen have been like, don't, don't get the shower after every day, yeah, guys. It's also it's Austin. Austin. It's very hot. Even like 110 outside. Yeah, so, you know, I, I sweat. I'm a sweaty person and it's like, I'll go outside and sweat. And it's like, yeah, I know to bring deodorant with me and go back home at the end of the day and shower and all this stuff so yeah just general hygiene good good idea <laughs> yeah please be hygienic. please <laughs> um when was when was the last time you did something truly cringe inducingly embarrassing and what was it oh god um at rt sorry not rtx um at supernova in australia we were it was the first time i was a guest there and i was told that it was a family friendly event and that like they didn't want anyone cussing or saying things that are like overly sexual or inappropriate because it was like a ruby panel i'm like 
totally cool. Like I could, I'll put it on lockdown. I got this. Good. Yeah. So, I, and I've been hanging out with Australians all week, so like everyone's like calling each other things and like saying inappropriate things. I get on stage, I like, pick up the mic and I go, what's up you fucking cunts? <laughs> like so loud. And as I'm saying it, I realize what I'm saying and the words are coming out of my mouth and I can't stop them from coming out of my mouth. And I just see like, there's the organizers who are standing in the back and I just see them all simultaneously <laughs> face palm. And I'm just like, ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that was pretty bad. Oh no. Yeah. I, I don't know how I would recover. I think I think I'd be stuck. You don't. You just. You <laughs> don't. You're done. That's the rest it. of the panel, you just like. Oh. Yeah, I think I said a few times like I can't believe I did that. I am sorry. <laughs> Please invite me back. <laughs>